Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to discuss hypothesis testing for a single population using the Z statistic. Okay, so usually when we do hypothesis testing, we try to compare the means of one population with sample parameters. Okay, so when we are talking about Z statistic, remember this is a parametric test and uh, there are certain assumptions which have to be kept in mind for example the it has to be a the data must be parametric that is to say we need to know the parameters of the population or maybe of the sample so first of all it's a parametric test secondly the sample size should be greater than 30 okay you have to keep in mind if i'm applying a z statistic the sample size has to be greater than 30 and uh, moreover you have to always keep in mind that the data has to be normally distributed so in this session i'm your instructor rajesh durbala and i'm an assistant professor in business analytics and research methodology so the agenda for today is to solve a sample problem using the z statistic where we will try to test a hypothesis for a single population mean using the z statistic right are you ready i'm super excited to solve a problem and explain the same to you let's go this is the problem a marketing research firm conducted a survey 10 years ago and found that the average household income of a particular geographic region is rupees 10000 okay so a survey which was conducted 10 years ago and found that the average household income of that population of that region is 10,000 rupees. So Mr. Gupta, who has recently joined the firm as a vice president, has expressed doubts about the accuracy of the data. So Mr. Gupta, he is not very confident about the data available with him. So he expresses his doubts about the 10,000 figure being inconsistent or inaccurate. For verifying the data, the firm has decided to take a random sample of 200 households that yield a sample mean for household income of rupees 11,000. So he takes a sample of around 200 households. So I can see that this is much greater than the required sample size of 30. So obviously the Z test fits over here. And I have the population parameter that is rupees 10,000. Okay. And... Uh, I have the sample mean income, mean household income that is 11,000. So assume that the population standard deviation of the household income is rupees 1200. So I've been asked to assume that the standard deviation is around 1200. That is the population standard deviation. So verify Mr. Gupta's doubts using the seven steps of hypothesis testing. Okay, and uh, let alpha be equal to 0 0.05. So the level of significance that is asked to be considered is 0 0.05. Okay, now let's do the hypothesis testing. Let's see. Okay, now this is my blackboard. Now let's see. The first hypothesis, okay that is my null hypothesis I keep my null hypothesis this is mu equals to 10,000 this is what is given to me in the problem so mu that is the null hypothesis is mu equals to 10,000 my alternate hypothesis that is written this way that is mu not equal to 10,000 okay so the step one that is forming the null and alternate hypothesis that is mu equals to 10,000 that's my null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis mu not equal to 10,000 okay the step two that is what kind of a statistic that, that I'll apply okay that is I'm applying this is step one step two what kind of statistic I would apply okay so I'm going to apply the Z test the reason as already discussed it's a parametric test 
I have the parameters. The sample size is greater than 30. Okay, that is I have been given 200. So obviously this is greater, much greater than three, uh, 30. Okay, so step two is also done. Now what is step three? I'll apply the step three. That is the step three is level of significance. My level of significance that is equal to alpha. My alpha is equal to 5%. That is equal to 0.05. I don't have space, 0 0.05. So this is my alpha. Okay. So I have done all these steps. Now coming to my decision. Okay. The step four would be my setting up my decision. How do I put or frame my decision? Step four. Okay. My decision variables would be now let us put it this way. This is my normal distribution plot. Okay. I've been asked to check whether Mr. Gupta's assumption that the population the sample the population mean household mean income must uh, it is not 10,000 okay so the mean is 10k okay I have to test on both sides it's going to be a two-tailed test because he's expressing a doubt on this 10k figure so the value could be greater than 10,000 or less than 10,000 okay so it's going to be a two-tailed test okay so the level of significance is 0 0.05 that is now it will become 0 0.025 okay 0 0.025 okay so 2.5 percent this side on the right side and 2.5 percent on the left side just because it's a two-tailed test okay now how do we do the hypothesis testing okay I'll just erase certain values okay you understood this 0 0.025 that is since it is a two-tailed test 5 percent is divided equally on both the sides okay so I just erase these values so that I make some space so that I can write some more things Okay, now this is my normal distribution. Okay, now the tabulated Z value, the Z value at level of significance 0 0.05 for a two tailed test is plus minus 1.96. Okay, so on the right side we have to write plus 1.96 on the left side it would be minus 1.96 okay this is the tabulated value most often this value is available in the problem the tabulated z value or else you can look into any statistic book standard statistic book would have the z table where you can find the value of z at level of significance 0 0.05 okay so that's going to be 1.96 plus 1.96 on the right side and minus 1.96 on the left side okay so in the given problem what should I do okay now let's see I clean my page okay now I find my calculated Z value my calculated Z value I calculate my Z this way okay x bar minus mu divided by sigma root n okay this is the formula z equals to x bar x bar is the sample mean okay x bar equals to sample mean right mu equals to population mean okay sigma equals to population standard deviation n equals to sample size
fine so this is the formula that we are going to apply right now let's clean the page now I'll calculate my Z is equal to X bar what is my X bar 11,000 what is mu 10,000 divided by Sigma Sigma is 1200 divided by root n root n is equal to root 200 okay now you have to make the basic calculations when I calculate what do I get okay 11,000 minus 10,000 that becomes 1,000 okay let's see 1200 divided by under root somewhere the denominator becomes 84.85 okay so 1000 divided by 84.85 that's how 1000 divided by 84.85 that's equal to this is somewhere close to 11.79 this entire calculation will end up to equals to 11.79 okay so how do we interpret this value okay you have to interpret this this way okay my z equals to my z is equal to 11.79 okay the calculated z value always has to be taken in modulus that is to say I'll consider only the absolute value okay you do not have to if even if you have plus or minus whatever you ignore the signs now how do you understand this okay the calculated z okay calculated z if it's greater than tabulated Z okay if the calculated Z is greater than tabulated Z then you have to reject the null hypothesis and if the calculated Z is less than tabulated Z accept the null hypothesis okay in this case our calculated Z that is 11.79 okay this is greater than the tabulated 1.96 so H naught gets rejected okay so as far as our hypothesis testing is concerned H naught gets rejected okay I'll try to explain you the logic now just see on my normal distribution plot this is the decision parameters 1.96 minus 1.96 this is my acceptance region okay and this area these two it forms my rejection region okay this forms my rejection region so anything beyond these values get rejected so in our case I got something 11 point something 11.7 or something okay so that's much beyond so my H naught gets rejected I hope you have understood this so this is how you test your hypothesis using the Z statistic for a single population right so let's get back to our slides so I hope you have understood this now this is the final solution this is how your solution would look like your Z comes to 11.79 this is your acceptance region this is your rejection region okay so our value was much beyond 1.96 11.9 falls much beyond that this so it lies in the rejection region 
so obviously we are going to reject the null hypothesis right so once the null hypothesis is rejected you have enough statistical evidence to accept the hypoth uh, alternate hypothesis that is to say mr gupta's hunch was perfect that is to say the mean that is the 10000 figure isn't reliable it's inaccurate right so you can get in touch with me on linkedin facebook and twitter you can also write to me at rajeshdurbala.com i would love to listen any comments from you we also run an organization called let peace proliferate you can visit the page facebook.com slash let be pro we do a lot of activities to eradicate extremism both online and offline it's a war against extremism so do visit our page like us share our activities and make it a big moment right thank you for your patience let's meet next time thank you till then